Hi, I'm Robin Siegerman. I'm a 20-year veteran of the home design and renovation business. I'm an international design award winner in the kitchen and bathroom categories, and I'm the author of the Amazon bestseller, Renovation Boot Camp Kitchen, Design and Remodel Your Kitchen Without Losing Your Wallet, Your Mind, or Your Spouse. Today I'm in the Fisher & Paykel showroom, and I'm going to introduce you to their dish drawers. The company was founded in 1934 in New Zealand by partners Fisher and Paykel, which is why we pronounce the name of the company the way we do. It's not Fisher and Paykel, and it's not Fisher and Paykel. It is Fisher and Paykel. In 1986, the idea for the dish drawers was born. Now, prior to that, and still today, Almost every other appliance company in the world has conventional dishwashers with a drop-down door and a single drum. Well, Mr. Fisher and Mr. Peichel decided that the most efficient use of a space in a kitchen is in a drawer, and so they were determined to try to find a way to do that for dishwashing. Well, the conventional wisdom at the time said, impossible, can't be done, but they were determined and so the way they made it happen was with the smart drive technology. And that is a pump and a drain in one mechanism. So it allowed them to put that technology, which is very low maintenance because there are very few working parts in it, into a drawer. And so they call it the dish drawer. There are several different configurations and they're very flexible, can be installed virtually anywhere in your home and at any height. And so I'm going to show a few of them now. What we have here is a standard set of dish drawers. What I mean by standard is we have a set of two drawers that come as one unit and both drawers are the same height as one another. But the great thing is you can still operate these drawers independently of one another. That's particularly convenient if you have a small load and you don't want to use so much water and so much energy, you can just load one drawer and do your cycle. Now on the inside is where you'll find the controls. There are nine cycles everything from very light to very heavy. So if you have a particularly soiled load, you get a heavy cycle. But what that means is not just a longer cycle, but actually more water pressure. So it really blasts those dishes clean. But if you have a particularly light load, you can use the echo cycle, which uses only two gallons of water and much less energy. Now you'll notice the inside of the drum is not stainless steel. This is done for a purpose. It's polymer plastic, very heavy, which has sound insulative qualities, but also it's a molded unit. So there are no seams which could possibly degrade over time and cause leaking. So that's a huge benefit. The other benefit of one molded piece is the shape of it, which encourages the water to uh, operate most efficiently to really get your dishes clean. You'll notice these buttons across the top. What they're for is once the cycle is in progress, the drawer locks and you can't open it. And so if you've forgotten to load something or you want to get something out, you press the buttons, stop the cycle, unlock the drawer, and then open it and access the interior. So that's a great feature so that you're not just opening the drawer and having water spill out everywhere, you're actually stopping the cycle before you open the drawer. Now the next one that I'd like to show you has a taller drawer which will fit a 13 inch dinner plate. This one fits 12 in both the top and the bottom drawers. Let's go look at the taller one now. Here we have a single tall dish drawer. What's great about this is that you can install this anywhere. You can actually install it right down at the floor. You can raise it up above the countertop if that's more convenient for you. But what we have here is a dish drawer that is mounted above a regular storage drawer. So it gives you great flexibility about where you install it. Now this one comes panel ready so that it is completely visually integrated with the rest of your kitchen. But you'll notice when there's a panel on the front of the drawer that we don't have the buttons which allow you to stop the cycle and unlock the drawer so that you can access the interior. So that's when you use your remote. I know it's another remote, but this one stays in the kitchen. 
So the interior of this tall drawer is the same as the last set that I showed you. The chief difference is its depth. This one will house a 13 inch round dinner plate. That's terrific if you have an oversized set or if you use chargers. Now all of the dish drawers have very, very advanced technology. The pump and the drain are the same mechanism so that there are very few working parts to go wrong so that servicing is actually very convenient. Now what I want to show you is the set of drawers that has the tall top drawer and the shorter bottom drawer. Here we have a dish drawer set which has the taller top drawer and the shorter bottom drawer. But the bottom drawer is still a fully functioning unit. The bottom drawer is tall enough to accommodate a 12 inch dinner plate. But I'm going to show you a little trick. Here we have a 13 inch plate. But what we've done is we've put it in backwards so that the tilt tilts towards the back of the, the drawer and that way it still clears when you close it. So that gives you even more flexibility when you're loading the unit. But I want to show you some of the features of the interior of the drawers. And this is the same with all of them. There's lots of adjustability so that you can really load it however you want. The first thing I want you to notice is these shelves here with the little notches out of them are terrific for hanging wine glasses. Now, if you have particularly tall wine glasses, you can simply move these shelves up and lock them into place and then hang your wine glasses and there's still room below. You can use these shelves for cups or small bowls or anything else that fits on them. The other thing that we have here on this side is these shelves also slide up and down just the way the ones with the wine slots do. This particular one has these little slots for knives, which is very convenient. And you'll notice on the inside that the tines are adjustable. I think this is really cool because if you've got a bowl or a pot that you want to put in, sometimes you have to kind of jam it in around the tines of a dishwasher, but you don't have to do that with these dish drawers because the tines fold down. So that gives you a completely flat spot to put a bowl or a pot. The other side is really cool also because these tines will change their spacing so that if you have a particularly thick plate or, or a pasta bowl, for example, again, you're not jamming it in and potentially bending your tines. And when you want to put your plates in, you sl simply slide it back as usual, and there you have a regular setup. This is where you put your detergent in. It's a little pop-out reservoir, and you really should use powder or pucks. It's not recommended that you use liquid. In this particular little reservoir is where you would put the powder. If you want to use a puck, then you would simply drop it in your cutlery basket. Below the detergent reservoir is where the rinse agent goes. And there's a little red light right on the cap that will show you when you're empty and you need to refill. A big complaint I hear about a regular dishwasher is that it's not very adjustable, so it's difficult to load odd size or shaped items. In this drawer, you have tremendous flexibility, so you can put anything you need to put into it and it's going to load it properly. Now I want to show you something that's very unique to Fisher & Paykel, and it's pretty interesting. Let's go take a look. Okay, now look at this baby. A 36 inch wide dish drawer. Three feet of cleaning action. Isn't this incredible? This gives you the opportunity to put in great big serving platters, bowls, great big a lobster pot, for example. And to cover off this width, there are two spray arms. So you're getting full coverage of water pressure, just like you would in the smaller dish drawers. But this way you get maximum space for incredible flexibility of loading. But I want to point out this whole setup on this side. Underneath the cooktop, we have another dish drawer, which is the conventional size, 24 inch wide, and it's right under a cooktop. See how flexible these dish drawers are? You can put them virtually anywhere. And right beside, 
we have the cool drawer, which I showed you in a previous video when we talked about refrigeration. So this whole setup along here with the wide dish drawer, the narrower one, and the cool drawer gives you a fantastic spread for entertaining. Now let's go over and have a look at the DCS side. Here we have the DCS set of dish drawers. Now the interiors are virtually the same as the Fisher and Paykel, but what you see here is a much beefier exterior. And that goes along with the aesthetics of the whole DCS line. We have the tall dish drawer and the shorter dish drawer here on one side of a DCS gas cooktop. And then on the other side of the cooktop, we have a single dish drawer. So this shows you the flexibility of placement. You can put these dish drawers virtually anywhere you want in your kitchen and have fantastic flexibility for cleaning, whether it's the Fisher and Pico line or the DCS line. It's only going to be the look. The function is the same. And because the service rate on these appliances is so low, they're virtually maintenance free. That's it for me today in the Fisher and Paykel showroom. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to find out where you can get Fisher and Paykel or DCS appliances near you, go to fisherpaykel.com. And if you'd like to find out more about my design services, either for kitchens and bathrooms or the whole home, go to renovationbootcamp.com. And if you're interested in finding out more about Fisher & Paykel or DCS refrigeration and cooking equipment, look for the other videos in our series. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Robin Siegerman. Bye-bye.